Guys, before we actually start this video, if you don't know, I actually got partnered with Epic Games and they're hooking your brother up. Guys, create a supporter is now a thing. If you go down to the item shop and you go to the bottom right, support a creator, click on that, type in your boy's name, exotic motion underscore YT, and then you guys are going to be able to hit accept. Over here at the top right, it says creator supported exotic motion underscore YT. Take a picture of this or this right here and tweet me it. I will go ahead and retweet it and I'm picking a winner to give you guys free V-Bucks. All you gotta do is tweet me that's all you got to do it it shows support to your boy and i would appreciate that more than anything Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's here by Munchie you guys, another video. In today's video, I'm gonna try to give you guys a little bit of tips and tricks on PC. Now guys, keep in mind, oh my God, there's one person coming here. I didn't know if planes spawn here or not, but it looks like one other person is here. Please give me a shotgun in this chest. A blue AR, all right, that'll work as long as it's... Okay, there's two people here. One just took a zip line out of here. Crap, I hope that guy... Oh no, he's taking my car. No. Oh, he's he's doing the little flying trick. Oh, I hit him for 25 at least. That's all that matters. All right, guys, as you can see, look at this fog. Like, the fog is super, super thick. So I want to show you guys a little special technique that you can actually do that I saw some streamers doing to get rid of the fog. Um, now, when the sun, you see the sun start coming out and stuff like that, you got to know that basically the fog is going to go away. First, I want to make sure that I have mats. First thing you ever want to do when you play Fortnite is you want to load up on mats. No matter where you land, just make sure you get as many mats as possible. Trees, wood, brick, stone. It doesn't matter what you get. Just make sure you have mats because anytime you get in a build fight, if you run out of mats, you're more likely like, I think it's like 80% chance you're going to die on that build fight. It, it's depending on how the other person plays and stuff, but your chances go up extremely high that you're going to die just because you run out of mats. Like mats are everything in this game. So you're going to see me farming a lot. This video is not going to be too long. I'm going to cut out all the boring parts so that way you guys aren't really... Oh, there's people down here fighting. Oh, let's see if I could tag him again. Get him weak. I don't see him. All right, there's people, there's people at Pleasant Park fighting. We're going to come up here, get this chest, farm a little bit of these trees, and then we're going to go down to Pleasant Park and see what we can do there. All right, now that we're coming into Pleasant Park... I don't have, I have decent weapons. Just having a shotgun and an AR as a secondary is really all you need if you ever played 1v1s and stuff with your friends. Usually this is the loadout that you have with your friends. So I have a little bit of practice because I've I've scrimmed, not really scrimmed, but kind of like 1v1 battled like this. So hopefully I'll know what to do. It doesn't sound like anyone's in this house. Is that a person right there? Oh, it is. Oh, someone else shot at me. This guy with the crossbow. This guy doesn't know I'm here, so I'm going to try and sneak up behind him. This guy with the crossbow, though, is being annoying. Oh, my God. I choked all my shots. Honestly, I was, I'm just scared. I don't want to get shot with that crossbow. Ooh. All right. I have high ground. He has a sniper, I believe. So I can't peek for too long. But that crossbow guy is going to snipe me. Watch. I got to be careful. See, look at him. Trying to shoot me, man. You know what we're going to do? We're going to bail out. We're going to go flank this guy, get on his level. Uh, it looks like he's healing up. I hit him for white health, so I have better heals than him. We're going to push this guy. Oh, I knew he was going to go for high ground. I got to put a roof over my head. He fell. Woo, good shot, good shot. The other guy might rush me. Oh, he had a good shotgun. I need this SMG though. Oh crap. The other guy rushed. No! What the heck? I didn't know he was up that high already. Alright. So what he's gonna try to do is I gotta break this wall and I gotta build out that way. Okay, crap. He took over my Oh, he's about to take over. He took over my pyramid. Now he's trying to take over my floorboard. You know what? I'm just gonna quick edit. Watch this. There we go, baby. You got to be able to hit your shot. So basically what you do in a situation like that is if, if you're trying to take out, go out through the side door, like how I was trying to do, um, you got to make sure to keep putting a pyramid and a floorboard above you. Because if he takes over that floorboard and pyramid, you're kind of screwed. You're, you're going to put yourself in a crappy situation. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to just, if he's above you, just constantly swinging that pickaxe like that you have a split second chance ahead of him to actually edit that floorboard run through it and actually hit your shot if you miss your shot you're probably gonna die but luckily i hit my shot right there but look at this fog man this fog is crazy i want to 
to show you guys this little technique. I don't even know if it works or not. I saw the pros do it and it did work. So I'm going to try it out for myself. Um, let's open up this roof so you can actually see the fog. And then what you want to do is you're going to want to go to your settings over here. You're going to want to go to the colorblind settings, which I think it's right here. And you're going to want to turn this to Deotronope. Wait, I hear somebody. Oh my goodness, my shot is off. There we go. At least we got the kill. And he has a med kit. Let's go heal up. And then I'll show you guys what you're supposed to do. You're going to want to go to colorblind. Turn on the first one and turn it up all the way. As you guys can see, if you look at the bottom right, you can see the guns. You can see how the color changes down here. So what we're going to do is we're going to move it all the way up to 10. Hit apply, escape. And then it's supposed to change the fog where it's more visible. Like I could see through the fog a little bit better. I could see further distance, but it doesn't look like it's doing that good. The sun's coming out. So I'm going to go back to my normal settings. Yeah, the sun's coming out, which means the fog is leaving. So we're going to just go back to our normal settings and uh, I'll show you guys when the fog comes back into the game. Cause I, it does work apparently. Yeah. See the sun's out. Fog's gone. Let's get this legendary weapon real quick. Jeez, this scar melts him, man. Literally two clips and he died. Ooh, Slurp Juice, Big Pots, P90. Ooh, this guy had some good good loot on him. We're going to take this Big Pot. And then we're going to take that Slurp Juice and dip out of here. You know what? There's builds over here. Let's, let's, oh yeah, someone's shooting over here. So let's go over here. I think he's fighting the zombies. Oh no, it froze. Okay, we're good. I think he's fighting the zombies, so uh, this is a perfect chance to actually snipe him and try and kill him. And that's one thing the zombies are good for, but they are very, very... There's actually a lot of good things for the zombies. One, it, it draws people out. Two, it uh, gives you shields if you kill them, so... Oh, he was moving so much. Oh, dinged him for that headshot. This dude's weak. What the heck? Oh, he put two traps down. What the heck? I thought he put one, man. A lot of these PC players, man, I don't know what it is, but they're... It's starting to annoy me because PC players are getting so freaking good. Like, there's... Everyone is a sweaty now on PC so to the point where it's like... It's not even fun, honestly. There's a chug jug down here, though. I'm gonna go get that chug jug. Gosh, it's just... It gets annoying. Like, there's sweaties everywhere now. Chug jug. Let's heal up right here. These zombies, watch. They're gonna literally knock me down. Watch. Oh my gosh. All right, you know what? Let's just get out of here. Hopefully nobody's around. I'm literally two tap and I'm dead or one headshot and I'm dead. So hopefully nobody's around. I'm going to go over here to this build, build up there and chill and then pop that chug jug. Hopefully they don't, the zombies don't follow me all the way out here. All right, this should be good. Oh my God. Oh my God, dude. Oh crap. Oh my gosh, dude. A person came too. I gotta pop this chug jug, man. Hopefully he stays down there and fights the zombies. There's a lot of zombies here, so he's gonna be occupied. I hope he's not shooting me down, because if he shoots me down, that's GG and I'm screwed. Come on, five seconds, man. Five seconds. Oh, it sounds like he's fighting the zombies. There he is. Let's go. Killed him. Alright, see, that was a bot. See, it's rare to find people like that. Especially on PC on console. I felt like back then I found it a lot more often. I might have to switch back to console you guys There's just way too many sweaty tryhards and as much as I don't play the game that much like you have to be Top tier always playing the game always learning always improving to have fun on PC But the thing is is on console like it's more casual players. So everyone in there is like decent or Not the best in the world. Let's go get this slurp juice and then we'll go back, hit that uh, rift, and I'll show you guys why this heavy sniper is actually better than the silent sniper. Actually, go to colorblind, switch it over. As you can see, it's, it's a little bit better. Um, it's not the best in the world. The sun's coming out again, but it did open up the view a little bit. Like, we can see a little bit better, uh, but the sun's coming out. So let's just go back to normal, turn that off. And as you can see, it, it, I mean, the sun came out. Literally the worst timing. So the fog's not here as long as it used to be. I mean, I haven't played this game in a while, but the fog used to stay for so long and it was annoying. Let's take this rift to go. And I'm going to show you guys why the heavy sniper is the one of the best weapons to have on you in the game. Because one, um, it's a very strong sniper rifle. And two, it basically one-shots any material and stuff. So you can break into people's one-by-ones extremely easy. Now, I don't know if I want to play this safe and land far. 
or if I want to try to find people. I could get a victory royale if I played it safe, land on this mountain, just maintain high ground. But I do want to show you guys what the heck I'm talking about. Okay, it looks like there's builds over here. Yeah, we're going to go over here. Looks like there's builds. I don't know if they're fighting zombies or if there's two people. Sounds like there's two people fighting each other. Oh, no, that was a zombie that just died. I don't know, but this guy's over here somewhere. Right here. Just like that. That's how easy it is to get... You've gotta be freaking kidding me, dude. Did that really just... Yep, I'm going to console. I'm done. I, I don't care.